So my mother stepped on this cat's head, right? She did it obviously by mistake. She's not some kind of psychopath that stomps on cat's heads. But poor Blanky, who loved to weave between her legs as she walked around. Well, one day my mother just uh, could not dodge. Her foot went straight onto his head. And that poor bastard, while he survived... He became just stupid. He was just really, really dumb. He barely understood how to put paws in front of one another so he could walk. He just laid about doing much of anything. And I feel like if we didn't have two other cats, Lila and Mini, Lila, she would climb on my knee and she would start just licking my ear. She would suckle it like it was a teat. It was very entertaining she was uh, my favorite cat because she did that she was funny as hell and Minnie, he was quite the tom he roamed around he did whatever he wanted he was an orange cat you know their reputation for being extremely stupid and also willful so he was uh, a maximum exponent of the of such such creatures murder you blanky though he was the tamest, most gentle cat because he was half stupid after being stomped on by mistake by my mother. Slowly, very slowly, he recovered. He st stopped being constantly stupid and he very slowly became functional again. And as he became functional, he started weaving between my mother's legs once more because, you know, old habits die hard and this cat ref also refused to die when my mother stepped on him again <laughs> right in the head it was tragic it was terrible he still survived despite all odds but from there he did not recover he was stupid to the last of his days he I may have lasted one, two more years Think did, it did do something. This was a sad story. I realized that, but it was also sort of funny in a in a tragical way. In a tragic way, and I'll be honest, I don't remember why I started telling you about this cat yesterday when I was in the midst of anecdote sharing as I got murdered by an evil doer shopkeeper. But I figured I should finish that entire thing. I guess I, I was just saying that I am not stranger to foolish cats. And so having another incredibly dumb feline in my charge really was not something that I was not used to. If we piss off this one, surely the other one will not care, right? It would be nice to gather them both in the same place. You just alter both of their lives by pissing them off. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, it's a bit of a challenge, but it's fine. Everything's going to be okay. We're gonna make it happen. Grab me this rope. I just picked it up and put it back down like it's HD. And that is actually bad. In... Spelunky 2, when you pick up a bomb and put it back down, it is actually counterproductive. Give me all those ropes, they're mine now. Also, would like to have these specs. The problem is not... What the... Oh, you are here. You are the shop man. You are the shop man. I would like to gather both of you into the same area. Perhaps that will do it for me. We're almost there, almost done. Don't worry about it. We only have 45 seconds, but now he's down. I need the other guy. <laughs> I need the other one to go where I want him. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I don't know how he made it up there, but we're going to roll with the punches. This, uh, I did blow up his shop, which means that he does not in approve of me continuing my journey. But this daily challenge is going to be great. This is not but a small setback for my progress. Hello, ball man. You're a trash garbage creature that I hate. 
I did not establish. I think that is quite clear by the thumbnail and the title. This is the daily challenge, the hardest challenge of all gaming time. I'm going to tell you the spiel again. I'm not going to. You already know it. This is what we're trying to accomplish. We're, what the? I don't. I don't endorse this. I don't endorse it whatsoever. I'm going to rope my way down. There you go. What a load of bullshit. But you know what's not bullshit? This incredible pair of boots. Oh yeah, Air Jordans for my feet. This pleases me greatly. Might as well get the dog to the exit. I would like to be rid of you. You absolute filth. Let me put a bomb there. And you know why I'm doing that? You know why I'm doing that? Because this dog is going to go places. Well, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I did not want to piss off yet another shopkeeper. I accept it, though. So anyway, we have 13 bombs. We have the will to go to Volcana. Sure, two bombs to make it there. And we even get a hold of that crate. Sign me up for this. Forget that I'm supposed to be gathering money, but then I realize again that gathering money is foolish. There's nothing to be gained by going up there. Not until you are in Neo Babylon does gathering money become even remotely relevant. Ooh, a jar full of juice? Okay, but don't get crushed. How about you loop away from my life? Whoa! So we got to Volcana. Soon forgiveness shall be achieved. Well, the game is just... Oh, that's right. We have sticky bombs now. There you go. The game is really fixated. It gave me some new prescription. We do not like... Once again, I completely forgot that we have sticky bombs. We do not like fire rock dogs. Absolutely despise them. If I start throwing bombs here, it will be a disaster. How about we work around the problem? Really don't appreciate it, having to spend these many explosions. But don't you see I am growing? I am becoming a better, bigger, more intelligent person! <laughs> I meant to hold on to the ledge. Not to just drop down onto the fiery person. I am becoming a more intelligent person. And in doing so, I avoided the problem altogether instead of tangling with such a horrible problem. That fills me with joy to watch the suffering of this caveman. Um, should be able to do something maybe like this. Mm, spend another bomb to piss off this creature, huh? Hmm. Okay. I accept it. Except as the price of doing business. He may be alert to my presence, though. Why am I bringing the idol here? Makes no freaking sense. It does make sense to go and find Van Horseface and get myself uh, a guy that owes me one. I believe he was, like, all the way at the top here? No? Where is he? I think it's, like, at the very bottom. We have only one minute. It's at the very bottom on that side, isn't it? Yeah, look at him. Yeah, yeah, the outcome that I was hoping for indeed came to pass. Oh, baby. Ha! Out of my purview, piece of trash. Okay, give me... Oh, look at that. Rewarded for my altruism. <laughs> really hate that I've been damaged so hard, though. Don't appreciate it. I'm glad that I started with the anecdote. Kind of got that out of my system. I can fully focus on let's playing instead of bantering. As the egg would put it. Been getting back into watching Northern Lion. This is a phenomena that has been frustrating me enormously. And I completely forget whether I have talked about it or not. And... It is so weird and anti, uh, uncounterproductive. I am sure you have noticed this this too, or w the moment I mention it, you will be able to also verify it. The people you subscribe to, 
they never show on your recommended. The people you subscribe to, it's YouTube saying, all right, well, you're subscribed to these guys, so I'm not going to show it in your face anymore. You clearly are interested... Excuse me? What did I do? This is... What? Bruh. Bruh. Come on. <laughs> you can't give me access to a crate and not expect me to grab it. This is such a load of crap. <laughs> I mean, no one by myself to blame. But a, a pretty fat load of crap. Why am I even carrying this key? What can there possibly be in here that I'll be interested in? A little bit of cash. That's it. The people you subscribe to disappear from your front page forever. Where's the rat face? There, there she be. Uh, oh. I would like to have access to her foolish shop endeavor, which I guess will mean putting a bomb right there. And then she goes down, <laughs> gets instantly vaporized. I hate that I continue having to spend resources here. Uh, you know, these bombs are, have been saving my ass. All right, so we are trying to get to the Cosmic Ocean. Uh, so I am subscribed to Mr. Eggman Northern Lion, and I am interested many times, not all the time, but many times I want to see the videos that he's putting out into the ether. I am particularly interested in his Slay the Spire gameplay. It amuses me, entertains me, and makes me into a type A chatter. And I always have to go hunt for them. I need to unearth them from the bowels of YouTube. It should be like, I literally click on every video that he puts out on Slay the Spire the moment it's out and I see it when I sit down to take a dump. How is it possible hmm? that is not front and center whenever I open that stupid YouTube front page on my laptop, huh? Otherwise known as the poop top. Let me alert you to my presence. I cannot alert you to my presence without this becoming a war. We have lots of time to make this happen. It will be optimal to have him get roasted right down there. He will not climb my rope until I leave it. It would be nice for him to climb it and then we can maybe go here. No, that's not going to work out. Okay, let me just uh, have him go down there. Um, oh, look at that. It's Callie. She was playing hide and seek. What a piece of garbage. This guy is also a, a giant piece of garbage. I loathe them. I loathe him. Have you noticed as well? Is Northern Lions not the only one? I also enjoy Super. He is a 1v1 fighting game type of let's player. I like to watch those videos when I'm pooping. I am quite the pooper, uh, pooper watcher, content consumer. This guy is just a nightmare. <laughs> I have made a terrible, grievous mistake by giving him a way to climb all the way up here. It annoys me. I guess we resort to this. Prevented me from going to Cali, prevented me from doing all the things that I wanted to do. And once more, we condemn ourselves to not being able to get forgiveness. I accept it. I have done terrible infractions, and not, uh, not least of which entering where I was not supposed to be in five seconds, we have a rat coming to haunt me. Hopefully, it will get utterly destroyed by the environment. All right, I have heard. Wow. <laughs> I've heard rat face get murdered. Uh, the problem is if I use these platforms and the shopkeeper is right on the edge of my sight. Well, it's going to be a horrible nightmare. So let's maybe go back up, use a few ropes, of which we have many, to make it to the other side, be a little bit more cautious with this whole thing. Would I have been punished? I would not have been punished, but it could have easily happened. Could have easily been the case. It's just terrible, man. 
at least Ratface is gone. We don't have to worry so much about it anymore. Okay, all right. Rewarded with wonderful health. Let me just I'll activate you. What is the chance of this robot exploding in a bad spot? Zero percent. That's the chance. One bomb to get to the exit, huh? No, that's actually two bombs. There's no way around it. What a, what a terrible <laughs> level, brother. <laughs> what is this nonsense? I don't want to spend a single more bomb. Let alone two. And then this guy is in the worst spot. I am spending two bombs. And you know why? Because the alternative is to engage with this maniac head first. It would be a terrible idea. You gotta alert him, and then try to sneak in there somehow. He's just awful, man. How are you? How are you shoot yourself? How dare you avoid death by not shooting yourself in the mouth, having these pellets be reflected upon you? What is going on here? We have witnessed these bullets coming back to haunt him. I am so mad. I'm so mad right now. <laughs> this is terrible, man. How are these reflective bullets not destroying his life? <sighs> I mean, we have a window here to go in. But I am very liable to just die. We're running out of time. Put in one more bomb in here. Yep, yep, this is sure is happening. There you go. <laughs> Those bullets, if I had done what that maniac was doing, they would have destroyed my ass. But no, he gets preferential treatment. Okay, there will be a rat coming after me soon, so we have to speed this up. We need to not really speed it up, but be sure that I put myself in a spot put myself in a spot where uh, when she spawns she's going to jump into the lava you know one of them very helpful things she just need to die one more time I think I don't know why I'm throwing this into the lava where are you where are you rat face it's a mystery I cannot let myself get ambushed Probably above me right now. I don't see her. Oh, probably roasted right there. All right, all right. I think I think it's safe to say I'm safe. This absolute moron, he's going to blow up that stuff the moment that I get too close. Is this terrible? I think I want to put a bomb there. I think that's the perfect spot to put it. Go down. Actually, no, he's going to climb up. And we are embracing this. <laughs> I don't want you to survive. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Holy crap, you saw my life flash before my very eyes. That was absolutely uh, just terrifying. Uh, okay. Thank you, thank you. Just engaging with this. You wanted none of this. You know what? Just leave that there. <laughs> you wanted none of this? It was like, peace out. I know when I've been bested. All right, bud. We have very few seconds to get ourselves a clover. Check out, uh, or if you haven't noticed this, Go ahead and pay attention. It is it kind of drives me to recommend, hey, if you want to actually remember my videos, unsubscribe. Because if you click on every one of my videos, but you're not subscribed, YouTube will put it right in front of you. It's something that I have noticed with everything that it's not a subscription. If there is a channel that I'm actually interested in, but I have not clicked that subscribe button, YouTube will continue putting it right in front of your face. Oh, baby. All right. Until you do. Until you hit that subscribe button. And then 
never again. <laughs> and then never again. We did get Vlad. I mean, uh, Van for horse face. Good stuff. Oh, at last we get that sweet cape. All right. Do some of this. Murder you. Oh, that was already true, but I see, I see. Give me the extra cash. Why the hell not? And now, please, do not murder me in the most humiliating way possible. Do we want a little bit of meat? To show Callie that we are devout in case that she shows up. And then we can just leave. Oh, hello, red face. You are mad at me, I understand. Actually, you want to kill her, but it's a, it's a major pain to kill this maniac in a fair fight. I really shouldn't engage. I should not engage. Just li leave it alone. We'll face Olmec. I don't know what the hell the Gronks will do, and let's not engage with anything. Just get the hell out of here. Uh, leave these buffoons behind. Wonder if rat face, if this counts as a rat face kill or what? Probably not. That's an awful uh, hot coffee pot. Should I drop it on Donald Trump? Probably not. Put this right there, and uh, get Olmec to do my bidding. We're not cheap skates. We don't engage in silly shortcuts. Not with only 12 bombs. Ain't gonna happen. We're gonna do this legit. Do the work. The Olmec fight sucks. <laughs> the Olmec fight itself doesn't suck. Doing it 70 times. Not so fun anymore. This absolute trash spider almost ruined everything. Get everything down there. Oh yeah, baby. When I'm not daily challenging, I've been trying out that Splunky 2.5 mod. I did not expect to be as into it as I am. I am like, man, I'm genuinely, comparatively into it as I was into discovering everything that Splunky 2 itself has to offer. It is quite uncanny that they have kind of managed to capture that same spirit of, hey, I, I want to I wanna see what this is all about. I want to discover everything you have to offer. Oh, baby. So, look forward to more episodes of that. Probably going to be five, seven... 10? I want to for sure finish it. Maybe even make it to the Cosmic Ocean. Uh, there seems to be so much, so much to discover. Even more than the other uh, similar remix overhaul mods that just add a pile of variety to the game. Something about it makes it different, both different and exciting to discover. I don't know. I don't know what is it about it, but I am glad that I tried it out. And I'm going to keep engaging with it. There you go. Murder you. Get out of this nonsense. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. I know, absolutely. Get my rope to get this crate. Open it up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm, what do we want to go? Of course, we want to go this way. That way, I will have a free pass into that ridiculous palace of pleasure. Okay, I have a way to stomp you into, into oblivion. Not so much. Not so much a way to stop you from touching me in the bad place. We don't appreciate it. This incredible hamster projectile. I really appreciate it. Oopsie. I could have really used that hamster. But it's okay. Because we can still use it as a corpse. Turns out, I can't believe I only just now realized this. After so long of tide pooling. It's an enormously helpful to have something to throw these damn Yangshis. Instead of relying on 
having to whip him. What? You check out my incredible corpse toss. I am the corpse toss champion of Nebraska 2025. It's a new. Oh. It's a new Olympic discipline. I've had it, man. I've had it with these damn shopkeepers and their stupid ass ability. Oh! <laughs> their stupid ass ability to climb on totems ropes and ladders becoming extremely aggro harshing my mellow quite aggressively please is there no way i can double jump out of the water what is happening right now i mean i do have nine ropes but i find it offensive there we are i was finding it offensive but you are here <laughs> yeah. don't you want to come this way you maniac there's a beautiful bed of spikes just for you. I do have 15 bombs. He will murder me. I am so full of loathing. <laughs> so full of loathing for this piece of scum. Surely he'll make it this way, right? We have 30 seconds. Do I really need to engage with you in a more direct manner? We would not appreciate it. I mean, I will just walk around it, right? But then he's going to move to intercept me. Oh, he can't move to intercept me. He's too stupid. There you go. We leave. Holy crap. My grunks. They were eliminated somehow. My slave labor. I was counting on it. Okay, that, that entire side looks cursed. Let's hope that I don't have to engage with it. There is rat face. I believe that we have done everything that I needed to do about rat face for her to no longer be a penny my asshole. Well done, you silly silly rat. You just need to use enough violence to achieve, achieve forgiveness. It's perfect. Brings me back to my first marriage. There you go. Once you establish who the boss and who can put in the hospital who, well, it becomes really easy to assert who is owed an apology and who needs to keep their mouth shut. So, you know, very important. Very important to keep uh, people in line. Hello, rat face. I leave you now. I now have a clone gun. Blocky. Excuse me? What is this? What is this hyper aggro? I won't get crushed. Don't worry about me. Cool. This is just a curse. This is just awful. The fact that I am a... Oh! <laughs> the fact that I am a... One health. Get out of here. This dark level is just a curse. I hate everything. I could easily get crushed if I did that. Just just get rid of him. Just get rid of him. Blow him up. Boom. In fact, these 13 bombs. Woo! All right, buddy. I think I think I have to cut my losses. I think I accept the fact that there's a zero percent chance of me surviving an encounter, uh, a, a trip to the bottom of this land. I believe I can get back. Woody, I can get back to the damsel, to the dog, without suffering damage. That is doable pretty sure I left it all quite clean this dog is going to give me another lease on life but uh, I'm leaving that clone gun behind I know my limitations I know what I should and shouldn't do in the most ca uh, many cases like 
I would say every case, I know what I should and shouldn't do. The question is, do I do it or do I completely ignore the voice of caution and simply throw myself in the jaws of danger like I often do? Alright. This time around, the first time in my life, I've decided to actually be cautious. I hate you. Don't get murdered, Major Stupid. He's done. He's he's done and over with, isn't he? <laughs> All right. Oh, let me see. What kind of gambling we can get done here? Oh yeah. Sign me up for these incredible payoffs. This pleases me. I mean, what is there even here that can be of help? Just resources. Just bombs. Even this shotgun is ass. Not interested in it. Just having bombs will be great. Uh, this being over also will be great. I ain't got no time for this nonsense. Stop! I am far too blessed in the gambling arena to be. This is terrible. Please, just a seven. There's a 50% chance of getting this seven. And yet, I continue being victorious in my gambling addiction. Brother, I, I have. I barely have a minute and a half. Finally! Jesus! Uh, where's my sword? There's my sword. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> if we are not in HD, what the hell was I thinking? Okay, we are actually under a lot of time pressure right now. There's the way. There's the way. I will not lose this sword. I will not be a total idiot. You can count on me. Where's Which one is the way down? It has to be this way, right? I'm not saying have to be, but it's the most likely. Oh, man. No, I'm, I'm going to die. I'm like, ooh, I could definitely use that pile of health. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello there. Oh, propitious! Look at that! How incredibly fortunate! Pow! Whoopla! <laughs> All right, okay. Actually, I'm not gonna die, right? So I do want to come over here. I mean, I only have ten seconds. And purchase this pile of health. 36,000 outrageous prizes, brother. Uh, one second. Please. Don't murder me. Oh, baby. Looking down. Oof, there it is. <laughs> Alright, that was upsetting. Uh, we made it work. It's all good. Everything came out. Millhouse. Incredible turnaround of events. No, my beautiful Hamster! I am... I am trapped in a world of pain. There you go. We do have eight health now, so it's all good. Too bad I haven't been able to worship Callie like I should. I need to celebrate her. I need to worship. I need to praise her like I should. Yeah, son of a whore. Disgusting turtle creature. Absolutely despise it. Get destroyed by my incredible sword in action. There you are. There you are. So what is the deal? What is the deal with YouTube and recommendations and the front page not being worth Jack's diddly squat? It annoys the crap out of me. Like, in a way, I understand it. Like, you're subscribed to this person, you are going to actively look for it, but I am, and this is 100% understood by the engineers, that I am a creature of extremely short intellectual means, and if I get distracted right away with some kind of video in front of my face that I may be even remotely interested in, I'm not going to go digging through my subscriptions to see what the egg put out. 
I'm going to oh, I'll click on this be mindlessly entertained. <laughs> Instead of actually being mindlessly entertained by another personality. Do we need do we need the clover? I don't think we have to do a damn thing. In fact, we like to keep the sword, right? The sword is, in fact, super helpful in the place. In Neo-Babylon. Until you have to carry this stupid nonsense all the way to the exit. If I piss off that, I mean, if I take that idol, the shopkeeper will instantly get pissed. For they are maniacs. And garbage creatures. Kali is also nowhere to be seen. What the, what the? Money. We did. Oh, baby. I got a little too close to death right there. Get me out of here. Oh, ah. Wow! Oh, baby. Do not murder me. Thankfully, we don't have a jetpack. And I am actually pleased with that particular situation right now. Because I am not liable to instantly explode. Oh, baby. Just go all the way down. See what's down there. What is this cursed nightmare? What is this? What is this? I am offended. I am so offended at the existence of this configuration of level. What a horrible fate has befallen me. All right, we'll, we'll just take this path and uh, make our way to the exit, please. Holy crap, brother. It's just these Neo-Babylon torture devices. Not right. Okay, we have a, a wonderful opportunity. I forget every damn time. There are two creatures that are worth crap to Kali. Wow, I almost went down on my way to grab that. One of them... One of them... Is... The crab. The other one... Is it the All Might? It is certainly not... The vampires. Maybe the old mites. Either way, I'm gonna put this crap where it belongs. Oh. Let me get you there. Now we kind of need more deadly power. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, climbing gloss. Uh, at this point, I'm like, how about I don't? How about I just don't? Let me make a shortcut here. If I find a jetpack, how about I don't? do anything about the jetpack. Yep. Because we have a climbing glove. We have spring shoes. And we have Vladscape. We are fully equipped for a whole uh, uh, cosmic ocean run. Anyway, let's get her have the tablet. People is not the thing that I wanted to click. Items. Simple. Wood. Snake. Just like what I have in my pants. <laughs> Simple wood snake. Simple wood snake. Simple wood snake. It ain't hard work, but it sure is honest. What my simple wood snake does. I don't see any manifestations. Of the simple wood snake. Bruh. That is a cracked snake. Smiling simple wood snake. <laughs> I love to get my hands on the simple wood snake. Fondle its texture. And appreciate the feel of it in my fingers. I am so pleased to be holding the simple wood snake. Okay. It would really behoove me to sacrifice more crap to Kali. So let's do some of that. Hopefully we can find a nice a nice path. And a nice pile of flesh. 
Look at this pile of flesh. Really don't appreciate the fact. We're gonna put a rope there just for the sake of making my life easier. We have many, many, many minutes. So let me grab all this dangle flesh. We're gonna get it where it belongs. I might even destroy this crap just to make my life not so much of a living nightmare. Just shortcuts all over. Ow. Oh yeah, perfection. That stupid orb is pissing me off. Okay. We can actually just descend all the way, huh? Love it. Oh yeah, this is what I needed. And then we got even an arrow out of it. How incredible. Too bad no gronk anywhere. We don't get to do anything. To grab the sword. Alright, we go through with the simple wood snake in my hands. This pleases me. Let's get ourselves a little bit of blood. Oh yeah, look at all this good stuff. Love it. It is so great to have that Vladscape plus the Kapala. It is quite the wonderful mix. Excellent combo. Okay, we're watching out. Come right in. Okay, okay. We, we do come right in, right? And we grab the stuff. And after grabbing the stuff, we do the most heinous violence. I was looking around making sure that we're not in a nightmare situation. We're not. Thank you for the advice <laughs> of how you deal with this fellow. If you use the little dragon, you can stun him forever. It's perfect. It is a great... It's, I literally never even... Even the hint of using the breath attack. It just does not touch my psyche. It is not a strategy that I ever embrace. It's just not something that is present in my mind. This creature is precious cargo that is just an annoyance. And uh, it just this doesn't cross my mind. But he is indeed a boon to be utilized. You know, I'm very smart. I said utilize. I will never not point it out. Even though there is proper usage of the word utilize, as was told to me. Excuse me? <laughs> How dare you be a live creature and not a corpse? Um. You actually can use the word utilize in a legitimate manner and in a way that is not an obnoxious, annoying ass, terrible, um, show offy way of saying use. You utilize something. I looked up the stupid ass uh, definition. This is just awful. I hate everything. Can I get through? No, you cannot. Uh, what we need to do is make our way to the exit here. And look at this nightmare. <laughs> it's awful. I hate it so much. Oh, yeah. Okay. You should be safe here for the time being. Please. Die! <laughs> I hate you so much. Ooh. Okay, okay. I don't want to ride you. I want to take you places. Show you the world. Give you a piece of my cork. Alright. The absolute maniac is also a problem. But he's dead. Or a rat. <laughs> oh, man. Down there. I, th I mean, you're safe here. You're safe here. You'll be fine. So we do have a maniac here. Ah, man. You have a shotgun, please. This jump is possible. It's just kind of annoying. There you are. Okay, so we want to do... We have a minute and 20 seconds. 
This guy is a problem, but not too much of a problem. Just gotta make sure that he's away. And then we shoot. Okay, he's dead. It's all good. So now the question is, do I want to open the way here? I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to. What I need to do... Let's put a rope down. Oh, he's still alive, huh? What I need to do is make that this whole exit... Woo! Make this whole exit into something I can deal with. I hate him so much. <laughs> so that is very easy. Ah! <laughs> oh, baby. 20 seconds, brother. Are you dead? Holy crap, you're dead. Okay. It's dual. It's fine. Everything's fine. Ooh. Five seconds. I wasn't fast enough. No. Just good enough. Oh. <laughs> oh, baby. Better than nothing. Clearly not the big heist it should have been. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! <laughs> alright, alright. It's all good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We got this. Everything is going according to plan. We can grab the shotgun. We can. And we will. Look at me. Look at me! <laughs> I am the winner! I mean, obviously, it was not the greatest performance of all time. We're getting slightly closer, though. <laughs> that was... What was that? Maybe 20%? No! Oh! 20% Ghosted Vault. Close enough. Whoopla! All right, all right. Good stuff, good stuff. Amazing. Shoot you really good. <laughs> we leave. <laughs> uh, Oh! <laughs> Give me a cup of water, please. In my defense, that 6-3 was a spawn from the, the mind of the devil itself. It was atrocious. Absolutely awful. I want this health. I want it. I have learned my lesson. I will not shun your beautiful embrace, oh mother. Please, smother me with your love. I want to be the recipient of of your blessing. I almost shot this filth. Get absolutely destroyed by rat face. 50,000, man. That's just not right. Do I care for this shotgun? I don't. You just go in here and start whipping. That is all you do. We're going to ignore... Th I usually use an extra bomb to destroy this piece of garbage. I loathe everything about you. You're, you're gonna be a problem, aren't you? You're gonna be a piece of garbage. You're gonna be a trash. What the hell just happened, man? You cannot be left there. You need to come with me. And we're going to control your life and death process. This this guy could have been a disaster if I had left him down there. Because he would then spawn skulls that would have had no way of dodging. I would have been bad. I must have the ruby. I must have it. Okay, give me some money. Hardly any extra money. Give me the bag full of resources. Absolutely amazing. In the mouth. Oh, yeah. Love it. <laughs> My favorite thing to do. Absolutely adore showing that ramp-faced piece of trash. Uppity. Haughty know-it-all. Thanks. Really appreciate that. That that was really really pleasant. Love it. Why am I not poisoned though? Does the water neutralize poison? It must, right? It must neutralize poison. There is no way it doesn't, because otherwise I will be horribly poisoned right now. Okay, we don't trust this frog not to ruin my. My ghost spot life. 
We wait. We carry on. An idol. I don't want to use a bomb to get up there. What's the worst that can happen? I'll go the long way around. There is zero punishment possible going the other way around. Oh, look. It's a slave driver. Here's the place where you don't want to piss off the slave driver. Do I may Man, this will be a great opportunity to have a shotgun in... Uh, a great opportunity to have a shotgun in the Cosmic Ocean. There's no way that's ever going to happen. Oh, we're already up to the time. Please. There you go. What was the chance of me grabbing the skull instead of the bow? About uh, 70%. Certainly happy that I did not just grab and immediately go. What's there? With What's over here? There may be something incredible. Absolutely nothing. Just... A few pathways full of entrails leaning straight into my oblivion. How dare you, amphibian. Munch of my delicious blood that I must harvest for sustain sustainability. Sustenance, that's the word that I was looking for. Yeah, you can explode. I'm okay with that. Delicious roasted turkey a la frog. I'll take the point of damage. Instead of doing something funky and maybe shoot this bow into into warm meat and just generally ruin my chances, I'll just take the frog damage like a champ. It's the safest way to approach it. I want to come down here. Grab myself. An alien in the pot. wonder what's the chance of that spawning. Yep. Sweet. Alright, we're doing great. Our ruby is worth $4,000. Super worth it. Almost went there. I know that you saw me go in there. In a parallel universe. Did not actually do it, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> Could have ended in disaster. I'm greedy. Look at all that cash. I'd use a crude. <laughs> all right, all right. We're in 7 3. We're still okay. Somehow did not get tongued into oblivion. Not the type of tonguing I usually volunteer for. Work this out. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing headphones right now. They're really internalized. How immersive. And freaky. That's gonna be bad, but we we'll grab it. How immersive and freaky the music in this place is. It weirds me out, brother. Might as well get a little bit of blood while we're at it. Why am I going this way? Because this is the way. I just knew it. I knew it ahead of time. Get rid of you, piece of trash. Is there a reason to go this way? I think actually that's the way forward. No, it's not. What is this absolute atrocity? <laughs> the exit full of gross larva just makes me feel awful. I hate to see it. <laughs> that was terrible. All right. Moment of truth. Get me. Whee! Get me through 7 4 quickly. Looking great. I love it when 7 4 is very straightforward. We take the damage like a champ. Just take it straight to the chin. I hate this. We make it happen, though. Whoa! We actually have a ton of time right now, so... I'm okay with what just transpired, because it was... Um, an extremely straightforward... An extremely straightforward climb. Watch out for arrow traps. I might as well clean up this frog. There you go. All right, now go back down. Molest the ascension of the chicken snake. See if we can uh, pull off a good, a good drop of bomb. It's always so obnoxious when I don't get this done right. We are in a pretty good spot. Uh, eh, that was pretty bad. I think it grabbed some damage. Oh yeah, that was beautiful. 
It was not the head that I was targeting, but <laughs> it worked out. Okay, now we waited out a little bit. Make sure it's all the way up here. How can it be 55 minutes, man? 55 minutes to get to the Cosmic Ocean? That's crazy. Where did the time go? I did spend a few levels where I basically exhausted the timer. I guess, thinking back to the run, there was quite a few levels where I was running up to the ghost. Isn't that funky? Pretty funky. Alright, we'd like to do... We like to do this, and I don't trust myself when I'm actually going to use a rope instead of floating on down. That was a lot of cash down there. Wonderful. Oh, another Cosmic Ocean run. Love it. I think this one is going to count for two videos. I'm going to just not post anything the next day. Because, you know, a full hour plus. It is going to be an hour plus. I'm not going to die immediately twice in 7-5. Come on. Give me a little bit of credit. Five minutes later. Yeah. Ow. Don't appreciate that. All right, please. I need one more ball to appease the jelly gods. Bye. Really should have left the... I hear it. There it is. Really should be wearing headphones every time I do this. <laughs> because it's so much easier to heal the last ball. Uh... Okay. Fine. Okay, there's the jellyfish. We're in a nightmare spot. It's a good, a good path. Let's be careful, though. All right. I need to remember, I need to grab a little bit of money here and there. Matters quite a lot. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Sight me up! <laughs> Excellent. That is so good. Okay, let's start going side to side. But it matters to be harvesting all of this blood. You guys know how things can go south in an instant. And the cosmic ocean is so easy for things to explode in your face. Either literally or figuratively. That is a good. Good breaks, great balls. I've been busted. How is that powder keg not exploding? Come on, man. The hell kind of nonsense Bethesda engine ridiculous glitch is this? That <laughs> powder keg should have been just blown up to smithereens. Disappointing you, Derek. How did you not code? Firebug plus powder keg equals explosion. Can't believe it. Might as well grab the money. Why not? Why not? Line my pockets with this incredible pile of gold. Really don't like this fire bug, so let me go over here. Could kill it real good. Oh. Uh, where's the last ball? We traverse most of this level. I was here. I remember it. This is kind of weirding me out. This is actually quite weird. Where, where is the last one? Oh, there it is. Okay, we should be able. To, it should be safe to loop around. Really, it's not coming from the bottom. Whoopla! Really, uh, expected to come from this area. Oh, it wasn't here. Okay, I accept it. Wasn't here? No. I'm confused. Oh, well, sure I'm glad that I got rid of the damn firebug. That could have been disastrous. To get fired in the face. Uh -huh. Come on, brother. There you go. Okay, just patient approach to problem solving. We have no bantering whatsoever. Just let's play into the max here. This is gonna be it. From here to three hours is gonna be it. Gonna have, what is what is this? <laughs> what, is, what is going on with this whipping? 
Check me out. I'm not going to get poisoned. I'm going to whip this arrow. I don't care. I'm confident. I'm a boss. I'm powerful. I'm all that. And a bag of chips. Somehow that is an expression that was prevalent at some point in the past. I have literally heard it used unironically. Ah, oh, shit. Get me out of here. Get me out of here now. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Was not keeping track of the amount of balls I was busting. And now here we are. We need to find the damn exit. Don't get destroyed by this. Okay, we found the exit. We also found a nightmare situation with an arrow in the loop. So let's wait for it. <laughs> that arrow in the loop can be a literal disaster. I'm hoping for it to stop looping. It should have stopped right now. It had quite the curvature, that arrow. There's also a frog. It's all good. That was upsetting. That was upsetting indeed. Okay, exit right there on the left-hand side. Very easy to find. I don't want to be spending a rope to trigger this nonsense. I want the ability to throw something, please. You are going to be my throwing subject, mole. Yeah. Got wrecked. Oh, yeah, give me that cash. Oh, give me that cash. Between the incredible heist and all the money I'm going to be grabbing from these levels. It's going to be magnificent, the pile of money. It's gonna be two million dollars. We wait, we are patient, we are gracious. These filthy lizards. Whoa, <laughs> I did not expect that kind of parkour, holy crap. Uh, number two, three gems. I do have 42 bombs. Let's see, 4,400, 2,200, 6,600. That's almost 10,000. That's 9,900. That's totally worth one bomb, for sure. Two gems, not worth it. Do you find three gems? Ruby and Sapphire, absolutely. Okay, so the exit was on the left-hand side. It should be very easy to get to. Famous last words. Let me check the loop. Okay, you're just a, a piece of lizard. I like how that just keeps looping as well. Alright, seems safe enough. The loop is safe. Even that corpse will not kill me. It is the theory, anyway. We wait. There it is. It will be on the left-hand side. It should be very easy. I want that money, though. Eh, I just go. Is one ingot pile going to make all the difference? Let's hope not. That would be horrible. Ooh, I saw it a little too late. Okay, there's one ball. There was another ball I saw it, but it's quite the hassle to get. Might as well destroy this damn cat because it is close to the exit. All right, let's... Uh Figure out where we want to go. Where we want to do it. Certainly saving that one for last. Wah! Oh, it's actually a short level. It's alright. I think it's a lot safer to do something like this. And then drop in the body. And I have established before, temple levels are greedless. We don't greed. In the temple, we just find the eggs and get the hell out. The other levels, well, maybe with the exception of the jungle as well. We're going to grab some cash. All right. Such a peaceful experience in the cosmic ocean. Try to kill me. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Got destroyed, idiot! You thought that you had the better of me, you did not. It's actually good money. We should kill all the crabs. Of the crab in. 
What's the official name of those guys? Bestiary. I've never actually worried, uh, uh, given a crap about it. Monkey. It should be in tide pool. Banksy? Crab man. Please. Maybe even lobster man if you want to be regal about it. Banksy. What a silly. More like pansy, am I right, fellas? <laughs> because they are homosexual. Anyway. <laughs> Let me just get through this silly nonsense. Pansies are not even. Not even technically. Of the gayer persuasion. Pansy's more of a limp wristed fool. Somebody who has no backbone and no gumption. Give me all that. Murder. Okay, so uh, the exit was on the right hand side. I do enjoy. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> the nonsense that is in the loop is just awful. Let me, uh, let me not engage with it. <laughs> if nothing else, I'll use bombs to get to the bottom of this place. Why? Why go in the middle? Because there is horrible squids in the loop. Where's the exit? It was somewhere around here. Uh, it was not. Damn it. Once again. Could have sworn it was on the right hand side. How are these damn squids not dropping to the middle here? This offends me. We have 50 seconds to find this exit. Could have sworn it was there, but I guess... There it is. It was closer to the top than I thought. Alright, get me out. Really could I use that... The fantastic crate. No! You scum! <laughs> oh, that could have been bad. That could have been awful. We don't have the pitcher's mitt, so we can actually throw these pieces of trash without it worrying worrying about looping. Let's just stomp the, their cranium. Man, that could have been bad. <laughs> uh, all right. Give me this cash. Is it worth hurting my head with these thorns? Yes, it is. But it didn't come to pass. Annoying to a point I want to use a bomb to get rid get rid of you. Ooh. Full of loathing for you. Get destroyed. Oh yeah, this rock is gonna solve my life. Who the hell do you think you are? You piece of garbage! I am so full of hatred. Die! We actually found all the balls. Might as well get a little bit of money while I'm at it. Whoop. Not a whole lot of uh, easily obtainable treasure immediately present, so let's call it a day. That. Spider is making me nervous. Yes, I shall spend this bomb to make my life easier. Another level complete. Awesome. Give me more dwellings, please. Always great. Give me that cash. That was so freaking uh, silly to do. That was so dumb. But I accept. I accept that sometimes I'm going to make not the most intelligent choices. What, brother? <laughs> what the hell? What kind of nonsense is that? Hey, this is my ticket to Arrow Trap Safety. Getting some money. Gotta love it. Definitely want all dwellings levels. This will be so great. And of course, we are at the mercy of the RNG. I accept it. I am quite the roguelike enjoyer. Pretty soon, pretty soon, the bazaar will be coming out. I've been one of the few games I've been hyped for in the last few few minutes, few minutes, few few years. 
Let's put a bomb there. It is... You could call it PvP Slay the Spire with auto battles instead of being a card game. I am really looking forward to it. You will definitely see at the very least a video of me, you know, telling you what I think about it. I don't know. I've had this feeling from the inception of looking at it. It's like, this is going to be a big one. This is going to be a successful video game. Hopefully I will not be proven wrong. Anyway, there is the, the way out here. Very easy to get to the jelly. The problem is dodging here. I should be able to do something like this. And then just jump. Actually, let's take it easy. Take it slow. Make it happen. Oh. Oh. The bazaar being the brainchild of a famous, famous former streamer, Raynad, the Rain Noodle. His Hearthstone Salt, what this is legendary, on record, just obliterating Hearthstone and all of its bad RNG. He vowed to do better. He started designing a card game on stream. His project morphed from in the progress of what five years, however long it's been, morphed from card game to auto battler. Extremely salty about the fact that Super Auto Pets copied his asynchronous matchmaking. Oh, that is not good enough. Which forced him or drove him to do closed development. He was you're doing open development, posting the progress of the game on the internet. I'd like to be able to get up there. That would be great. This is a good path. I am ready to spend a bomb to do this. But I don't want this water all over the place, please. No water for me. Eh? Okay, let me hang on to this. Oopla! Right, right, good stuff. Could probably just go down. And this would be a lot easier. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just go through. The scope of the project went bigger and bigger and bigger. And now what used to be a fairly scuffed indie video game. Now you look at the promotional stuff, you look at the gameplay. The polish on that video game. It looks more polished on, on the level of Hearthstone. It's just crazy. Uh, the amount of art and production value that they have packed into the bazaar is nothing short of staggering. It's like an indie studio did this. That's nuts. Like coming out of multi-billion dollar studio, Blizzard... And coming out of this indie studio, like the similarities, they might as well be the same studio in the sense that, holy crap, you managed to achieve this as an indie developer. This puts the mainstream garbage to shame. All right, let me go through here. We want money. We want balls. So I'm really looking forward to that. You can definitely expect content to come out of the of the video game. I mean, it is an auto battler, but it has the same design philosophy of Slay the Spire, where you're not shooting for a build. You are just adapting to what you're offered and how good you are to adapting to the resources and offers. That is how good you are at the video game. Slay the Spire is not about, oh, look at me. I put a poison build together is being like, holy crap, I was able to make this bash and trench deck somehow work for me. What? I would like to grab that, please. We don't have a lot of time. I now know where the damn exit is at. The exit has been located. Let's see. There was ball over on this side. Let's not be our road. 
They're, they're not the last, okay. <laughs> kind of sworn he was. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why. But you're also not the last. Oh, shit. We may be stuck having to bust some balls while being chased. And that is a nightmare. That's what happens. That's what happens. I got... I gave myself to the banter. Not even banter, just talking about non-cosmic ocean matters. And I'm being punished. There's the way. There's the way. I miscalculated this trick. Huh? It's alright, it's alright, we got time. Don't worry about it. Woo! It's all good. Could I grab more money than that? A mummy, you say? I have 54 health, essentially. Functionally, it is the same as 99. Let's just kill this. And uh, make it to the top. Uh, we'll do one of these. I'm full of mistrust for this creature. Yeah, we'll just leave you alone. Send this up. Patience, patience, and determination. If we, let's see, okay, there's nothing down there, so we can do one of these. Will that get the crush trap? It did not. At least I got my bombs back. There's the exit. Appreciate his existence. Die. Man, let's see if uh, looping gives me a little bit of, of freedom. This is just awful. No balls over there. Whoa! Let me just slowly descend. There's a number two. We need more balls. Somewhere they must exist. Maybe over here. Nope. They're like straight in the middle. There's a pile of balls. I need to bust them. Never mind. Okay, I think it's at the bottom. Yeah, it's very easy to reach. There it is. Whoop. Aw, some money. Left it on the table. Absolutely atrocious. It is truly staggering, though. Still uh, the bizarre in my mind. If you have are familiar at all with Reyna as a person, as a personality, you just see a picture of him now and a picture of him as he was. It is incredible, the difference. And then you hear him speak. He has literally found God. <laughs> He's now a religious, super spiritual dude. And it's so jarring to hear him talk about that kind of stuff. When he used to be pretty much a streamer fuckboy. You know, <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> It's so weird. Don't you want to try to kill me, buddy? Yeah, 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 you can. Yes, you want to. You maniac. You cannot help yourself. I can relate to that. I know what lies in your heart, what lurks in your soul. You're, uh, full of violence and income poop. I know your type. I hate you and you must die. Okay, let's see if we can... Go over there. How does that even... It's so strange, man. It always fascinates me. How somebody can change in such a radical way. Feels like it was always within them. All along, right? And it's just something happening in their lives that uncover that part of themselves. Something that they were kind of trying to push away during their youth or something. And they finally... Didn't quite give in, but embraced it. Oh, that was the last, huh? Well, you can be a problem. There's no real way through. I don't like this. So we're just gonna spin a bomb to have a nice path. There you go. This Yangshi can be my death, so <laughs> let's be sure that he's no longer a problem. All right. It's all good. Can't say I ever 
had any kind of epiphany like that. And in fact, it kind of is like that with me. I used to be Catholic, a believer, until, and I always had this inertia, like I always had this feeling I, I was just there because of inertia. Like that, well, that's what the beliefs that was were instilled in me and I never really gave it much thought. Because the way that that stopped being the case, it was the culmination of it. What's the stupidest shit you could imagine? It was me playing Warhammer and praying that I would get a great role and getting the absolute most shit-tastic role of all time. And I was like, that's it, man. If you cannot do this for me, what the hell? What the hell am I even here for? I realize how juvenile and how silly and how many arguments there are against that. And so I am instantly acknowledging that it's a silly thing to use to embrace your inner atheist. I'm just saying that's kind of what pushed me over the edge these days. I have the attitude like, look, I don't believe a damn thing of mysticism. But man, I would love to be wrong. That would be great. <laughs> that would be great to be wrong about all that shit for paranormal stuff to actually be real. You know, life would be so much more fun. Not have this downer attitude about everything and, and life being this, this uh, not quite meaningless, but subjective thing. And there's actually a, a cosmic pur purpose to everything. That would be great. But uh, I cannot bring myself to such a belief. Uh, we could have had a little more money here. But hey, we're close to the million. Oh, we're nowhere close to the end. Oh, you can be a problem. All right, I really don't know where the exit's at. There could be a lizard falling onto my head right now. So let's be careful. Anyway, uh, I just said all that. But I always like to put the disclaimer the clarification I used to I used to judge people for having religious beliefs not anymore I have grown I have matured and damn it my wife is a hundred percent a non-practicing Catholic she has very entrenched beliefs she will not give up not that I can have tried we have just talked about it you know and she's very uh, convinced she's not going to alter them for whatever nonsense I tell her uh, and I fully respect that. I understand how people just kind of, you know, that kind of stuff is important in people's lives. And some people need it, some people don't. And whether you need it or not, that is not my problem or my place to tell you whether you're silly for it. I like to make that distinction because of the same old narrative. It's not longer the case, but... For uh, quite a while in the 2010s, being an atheist on the internet was the most obnoxious shit you could encounter. People know it all. Obnoxious. Just insufferable people. Full of euphoria. Would tell you all about their atheism. So really left a bad taste in my mouth to even mention to anybody. But, ah, I don't have any any religious beliefs because it's tainted with all that reddit fedora tipping nonsense these days though people just don't even really give a crap of one another I wonder what is the breakdown actually I have not looked it up I am curious now to see what is the breakdown of religious versus non-theistic gen z and Slowly becoming relevant gen alphas. Wonder what is the percentage of both believers, pra practicing believers, needs to be like in the low single digits of percentage. There's no way gen zers go to church in any significant percentage. At least that's the impression they give me on the internet. Maybe I am disconnected from the normies, you know. 
but it really feels like practicing church-going religion has completely gone down the drain. Which, I will take arguments for and against of it being a good thing or not. My wife got so incredibly disenchanted with church-going people. Because historically, they would just judge her for everything. They, they, she found that they were the most judgmental, insufferable people to surround yourself with. Just fake and always concerned by appearances. You know, that, that kind of people that you imagine going to church. She had a full-on experience with people like that. So it really turned her off. Uh, but I'm sure just as much you can find just as many instances of... People for whom their community church has literally saved their life or, uh, you know, improved it drastically in some way. So, once again, it's like, it's one of those things where it's up to your personal life experience. Uh-oh, I'm being about to be poisoned. All right, good stuff. <laughs> that could have been really bad. We're deep in the cosmic ocean. I get to talk about silly stuff like this while we do... The 7XX. Waiting out this thing so I can stump it real good. Mm, a little nightmarish, indeed. This frog shall not end this run. It shall not! Okay, go for the exit. Did we get the million yet? 1.02. Careful. Hurrah! Look how ugly he got. He got so ugly in the face. He was ready to do violence against me. I take offense to that. I never once, never once come at you all aggro like that. There's no one to blame but yourself. I don't want this emerald. You don't want no emerald. I was tempted by the emerald. I decided against it. Go. Let's go down, see if we can find ourselves some balls, because we are extremely low on the ball supply. Looks like a short level, though. Hola! You asshole. <laughs> I hate you so much. I have the most violent hatred in my heart for you. Okay, the exit is top left. I mean, turn right. It will never not be true that I am... Fully dyslexic with directions. I will never say, or, you know, literally 50% of the time, I will say the wrong direction. It is a defect inside my brain. It is annoying. Like, I don't have a problem figuring out where I'm going. But I always need a second to figure out what is the actual direction I need to go when you say left or right. And for me to actually say left or right is annoying as hell. It's a problem I had all my life. I, I, it just gets into my, my skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You try to do violence against me, you scum. Oh, yeah. Give me all that cash. What is this incredible scamper of snails? When I say snails, I meant goats. Murder. Okay, there's the exit on the right-hand side. Let's continue grabbing money. 1,048,000. Whee! So, if we're 721, we have 1,051,000. Absolutely, we're reaching 2 million if all goes right. There's a 0% chance we're not reaching 2 million. It's just impossible not to reach 2 million. Of course, it all hinges in my ability to continue on through these lands without suffering the ultimate demise. You did. In fact, uh, it's been an hour and 30. I should go out. Oh, I didn't realize that you were the last one. Uh, been an hour and 30. Didn't realize I will be recording this long. I need to pause the recording a moment and go tell my wife the plans for the night. I'll be right back. Let's return to ASMR sessions with Uncle Blargo. I've told her that, hey, unlike most of the time, things are going very well. I may actually be another hour if all continues to go well. 
She always makes fun of me whenever I say, hey, I'm going to record a couple episodes. And I come out 10 minutes later. And she's like, oh, you died already, huh? You suck. <laughs> no, very funny. Very funny. I am just, just so, so tickled by how hilarious you think you are. Oh, shit. Well, that's a problem. That's a problem. <laughs> so stupid, man. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> uh, it all it took was coming out and go talk to the wife. Okay, okay. Please do not murder me. There is a uh, cape. I just did not keep track of how many balls I was busting. But it's fine. We're gonna be fine. We have a whole two minutes. To make it to where I lost my cape. Nah, come on, brother. Whoop. Get me back to where I was at. There we are. Alright, okay. Crisis averted, mostly. Let's just find the exit. Those frogs ruined my life. I resent it so enormously. Pretty sure the exit was down here. Do not kill me. There you are. Ah, my beautiful unk. It's all right. We still have a whole 70, 76 levels to go. It's going to go without a hitch. You can, you can bet on me. You can bet on me. Don't look at the DM timestamp. Don't look at the time. Look at me. Look at my face. The earnest expression. The conviction. The, this will be a perfect example of super spelunky ability Whee! Okay, give me that extra blood we are now in big need of extra blood give me that cash oh yeah oh yeah i would love some lobster men that's number two let's keep track of it or i will be fully humiliated again by my incredible inability to count up to three that will be a freaking disaster. There's number three right there. We don't want to touch it just yet. We're going to be very strategic with our usage of this level. Grab a little bit more blood. Actually, it's a super small level, I'm realizing. So, I'm pretty much done with it. Okay. I accept this fate. Let us not loop for a giant freaking octopus that's taken residence there. Ah. Voila. Nice. Another level complete. Look, it was just a small hitch. Not a big deal. We're going to correct our terrible mistakes, okay? going to be just fine. I hate everything about this, so we're going to put a bomb... <laughs> I just don't try myself getting close to that bubble safely. Could the water kill me there if I try to hold on to the ledge and the water kind of throws me? It's not. But it's not tested. It's just let it be. More money. Pretty sure that's number two because there was one at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, there was one next to the exit. All right. Now is the real deal. Now we are extremely conscious of what's happening on screen zero banter zero anecdotes nothing in the past what is this start brother what a freaking piece of trash you are putting me in a situation like this are you patrolling yes you are turn around turn around huh! one two man this little is short but it's short packs of freaking punch Pretty awful. Is that money? Yep. Only six points of health makes me feel so naked after having such a giant pile of it. That's what I said effectively. 50 is the same as 99. You are much more likely to lose it all in one fell swoop 
The exit was next to... Yeah, right there. So I'll be a little cautious here. We want to just go above. All right, all right. We got a path worked out. We got a bubble sighting. I mean, I, I know I saw it. There it is. Just gotta execute. Do I want to keep the boomerang? Nah. Whoopla. Oh, yeah. Get me out. Get me out. We're slowly making it work. Another terrible lobster man. Should be able to just do one of these. I'm going to wait out this disgusting hermit crab because we want its vital juices. Oh, okay. I accept that you're extremely violent in your nature. Oh, ah, ah, stop it. <laughs> oh, no. What am I doing? Just get out of here. The water, man. The water makes everything so hard. Okay. What is this? What is this nightmare? <laughs> this horrible gathering of evil. The true axis of evil has gathered at the top of the tide pool and off you go all right huh? for some reason tide pool the name tide pool you just never wants to come to my head it's the weirdest shit <laughs> i was wondering if the oyster would trigger and indeed it did it fills me with joy okay you are a bit of a problem i would stand here don't poison me I'm offended that we haven't found a single ball. We saw one, I think. We really should keep a good count of it. Or is it a bomb here? Because we want to bait some aggression. Gonna wait for both? Really? You scumlords? You know what? Stop messing around. <laughs> you have a lot of bombs. Oh, baby. Let me just do that. Get me a pile of health. Pile of money. I'll be honest, I don't remember where the exit was at. Okay, that's number two. Die! Hello? 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 It takes forever to kill him when you cannot bounce on it quickly. Anyway, where's the damn exit? Even though I don't know where it's at, we should be able to dodge pretty easily from here. Famous last words. <laughs> okay, so it came from the top right. I vaguely remember the top right of the level. There it is. This is a nightmare, though. Let me... Oh, jeez, it's been three minutes. <laughs> All right. I did think that, hey, I'm hearing something different. Something, something extra is going on here. I blame having to gather money. I know now... <gasps> oh, the son of a bitch. Moved. Oh, yeah, get destroyed. Oh, baby. Die! Oh, so wonderful. All right, good stuff. I want this money, and I will grab it, even though it costs me a little bit of health. This boomerang is going to be the exact thing I need to make back all my health. It's a weirdo over there. What is this? Brother! <laughs> what is going on? Just deadly traps everywhere. Oh, that's a, such a mistake. Put in a plant. Get bombed, bitch. Uh, putting a plant. 
that's number two. In the loop is such a mistake. Hopefully, he got destroyed somehow. Careful. Okay. Exit, exit. No, this is where I started. All right. I really should take care of the pile of evil voodoo men. That's number three right there. Like that up there needs to be taken care of. Huh? Get destroyed. Okay, so that's number three. We have one minute. Please give me an easy exit. Oh. You did give me an easy exit. I appreciate it. All right. Just gotta come over. Ah! <laughs> what the hell? Just gotta come over here. Boomerango. Not sure will come from. Yeah. Okay. Should be able to uh, go to the bottom corner here. What's that plant? And then there's the exit. The jungle levels, man, they are the second worst. Always a pain. Oh yeah, get destroyed. Man, this is super good against, against the octopi. Come on, don't you wanna... Ah! <laughs> yeah! Alright, it's all good. Everything's fine. Twenty-one points of life. Right, going through to the ball. Number one. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> That's such an easy way to just lose. Hello, buddy. Murder. Oh yeah. Feels great. Watching out for those balls. Always with every resource of my vast intellect allocated to what's happening on screen. Get destroyed. Got to constantly remind myself not to be foolish. No, no thanks. That just puts bullets in the loop. It is basically asking to kill myself right there. Not gonna happen. No thanks. Okay, we got the exit. It's at the pretty much bottom middle. And I think I've gotten only one ball so far. Oh, okay. It's fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Stop. Mini and 20. Mini and 10. I was already here. No, I was not. Brother. Please. <laughs> Aha. Number three. Oh, this was a mistake too. Throwing myself in a situation where I don't really know where the exit's at. That was rookie. Rookie moves, brother. Terrible things to do. It's a... Uh, oh, baby. <laughs> okay, it's in the middle. It's super annoying. We made it. Do I want to keep this boomerang? It's kind of annoying to carry, but you know, the benefit is all the tons of blood that you get thanks to it. This is pretty annoying, but I should be able to do one of these. 30 ropes, huh? No, oh, baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you imagine there had been a man trap just waiting for me there? That would have been so hilarious. I would have been so amused by that. There's the exit right there. Okay. Careful about boomerang boy. Murder. Pretty sure I've seen bubbles, it's just a matter. Yeah, there was a one in the middle that I didn't bust because I got distracted by the boomerang piece of trash. 
26 health. We're slowly progressing toward my goal. Oh, you are it. You are it. I want the, the ruby and the gem, though, but you gotta cut your losses. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Oh, yeah. Number one. Don't you have one next to you? No. You're annoying as hell, but if we leave you alone, it should be okay. Like I've said, no greed in the temple. Just stay on mission. I will go for the crates, but even the crates are a bad idea. If it means dealing with this croc man, so let's not do it. Looks like a very short level though. Should be pretty easy to get around it. Hopefully not trigger that. Well, you're annoying. There you are. Get wrecked. Hmm, okay. That's what I was about to say. They must be like confined to this corner. You are just forever doomed to be trapped in there, huh? What a nightmare situation you're in. Truly a fate worse than death. To be eternally doomed. To have uh, violence in your heart. That is going to trigger a croc man. Let's be careful in our approach. I'm not sure if it trigger or not. Woohoo! Let's start with the crap out of me. Okay, buddy, just don't jump on me with your aggression and we'll be good. All right, all right, we'll be great, great stuff. Another one of these. I appreciate the tide pool. I often underestimate it. Or all. Under, often underestimate the tide pool's ability to destroy my run. Then I die in the tide pool level. Pretty sure I did. Freaking scorpion in a pot. How lovely. Okay, that's two of three. Give me that money. Safe. Grab the boomerang. I think I am pro boomerang. If boomerang were running for office, it would have my vote. I'm down with it. Very helpful. It does have the downside of not being able to whip upwards, but, you know, you just put it down. Just put it down. Don't get too precious with it. Don't get too attached to the damn thing. We could use some extra bombs, though. Okay, so this guy's uh, pretty nightmarish. We have 34 bombs. Let's not also be not precious about them. So if I destroy this bomb... The jelly's gonna come for me. Pretty hardcore. I think we want to do one of these. And that uh, solves my problem. Alright, there you go. Let's go around. We should be good to go. I really appreciate for you to be spinning the other way, but beggars can be choosers. Go through the exit. How far along are we? 731, huh? Not even halfway, huh? <laughs> uh, that's the Cosmic Ocean experience. We love it. Love this damn place! Okay, we have an extremely super long level. But at least we got the exit, which is at the bottom right. We only got one ball! Cannot throw boomerangs at the eggs, at the maggot eggs. They shall make it bounce back. Always annoying. I accept it. Whoa, wow. I was going to just jump down and murder, but... It was not as straightforward as I planned. Okay, it's all good. Um... Should be pretty easy to get to it. Take it easy, though. Take it easy. It's in the middle. 
Do -do 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 -do. It was somewhere in there. It's pretty annoying to get to. I didn't realize it would be such a pain. Pretty sure it was easier from the right hand side though. So uh let's maybe take a little bit more care. Is it reachable from here? I don't think I can go through there. Maybe uh let's go in here. I'm a little uh, a little uh, trepidatious about engaging here, but I kinda have to. I think I have it in sight. I do not have it within my sights. <laughs> okay, there it is. It was a pretty rough one to get to. It's all good. It was, wow, the ice caves, they do exist. What the? Oh. What is this nightmare? Please make it stop. It's too violent for me. A little bit of money. Oh, careful. A golden parachute? Sign me up. Oh, that's it, huh? Well, that sucks. Alright, slow descent. Oh, baby. It's the last ball. Is it the last ball? Is that the ball I'm gonna take last? I don't think so. Surely, ooh! Surely the last ball will be easily attained. And it won't be a ma massive pain, my asshole. Alien. Well, that is not what I intended. Let's have that in mind that there's a evil rotating alien just making f making flips in the loop well that's the end of our boomerang actually no we can grab it it's fine so good we got some good cash this ice case level you know what uh, i'm i'm okay with now having any more ice case levels are kind of annoying. They're kind of awful. <laughs> uh, the, it's the explosions. But you know what? There has been literally zero Neo Babylon. I'll take our odds. We are doing great. Where spawns are concerned, that is our last. That's gonna be last in the balls that I bust. We're going to find the other two before anything else happens here. There it is. I've been. Oh no, it's the same one. I've been pretty guilty of not looking for balls properly. Actually, you know, looking down and up. Instead, I've been just roaming like a noob. That's not the way you do it. Can you, you want to give me a bust? You, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> I want a boost from that mosquito. Are you it? You're not it. I keep coming back to it. You were it. <laughs> Must have busted one. Did not even realize it. Okay, another jungle level complete. Bust it. Bust it. Please don't destroy the last one while I'm here. That's another noob mistake. To bust all the... Of, bust all the balls Be right as you enter a level because there could be... An explosion, some kind of, you know, Rube Gord Goldberg mas machine that triggers the last one. Jelly jumps on your face immediately. Ruins your life. Okay. We can make some money. Nah. Oh, there goes my boomerang. What? No. I will not leave it behind. This piece of wood of Australian origin will be my companion to the end. I have decided I am going to share my glory. Where's the damn exit? Right there. There you go. Well, it had to happen. 
it needed to come to pass. I mean, technically, no, it didn't. That is a, a perma elevator, a perpetual motion machine, which does tell me it is a short level. That's nice. But it also tells me that it's a mystery generation machine. Oh, yeah, number one. I hate you. All right, there you go. Let's see the last ball. I'll be very thankful to see the last ball. What is this, brother? What is this? It's not right. Yep. Oh, yeah, perfect. Give me a little bit of extra blood. Very nice. And there's the ball. Ooh, baby. That could have been disastrous. And there is the last ball. Let's leave this one alone. Yep. 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 Excellent. All right. Should be safe to get to the exit. First Neo Babylon level, psh, completely trivial. Sign me up for all the rest being Neo Babylon. I'll, I got it. Have no, no dread whatsoever in my breast. I will face this terrible difficulty with mighty aplomb. But I am starting to realize uh, maybe an hour was extremely optimistic. <laughs> uh, this may be far longer than that. It just takes so long. Seven ninety nine. This is like the main reason why I don't pursue it. The runs are so silly. A rogue liked should never ask you to spend more than an hour in a run. Without letting you save and quit, obviously. The fact that Spelunky has no save and quit, it is the highest form of s game design sin Derek Q is guilty of. It is insane to me that they did not... That they put a game mode in Spelunky 2 that asks you to play the game for upwards of three hours. And uh, there's no save and quit feature in <laughs> Spelunky. It's just baffling. You can have all kinds of opinions on uh, the merits of this or that mechanic in Spelunky. We can have a conversation. I will broker. I will broker no argument in favor of no save and quit. It is insane. And just, just the fact that Derek Hugh was a father. When he was designing Splunky 2, it's like, brother, you of all people should know. You need to be able to to leave the game and return. <laughs> you can't be having a video game that you, you cannot interrupt. What a frustration blue balling. Super awful way to conduct business. You disappoint me, Derek. Truly, truly a fumble. Where it comes to respecting the time of your player base. Now, is it a massive problem? Obviously not, right? But, come on, man. It really shouldn't be that way. Whoop. There you go. Yep. Number two. Oh, yeah. Love me. No, don't murder me. I was about to say, love me, these idiots that are just completely trivial to kill. Almost got taught an absolutely atrocious lesson. Lesson. I like to stomp them instead of whipping them. It's far more satisfying. Way too much damage here, but you know I'm getting to the point where actual health is uh, not a problem at all. Yep, we're safe. It's all good. Hmm. So getting a little bit more fast and loose. With how I conduct myself. Yep. Yeah, I didn't want you to go 
that far? Really? No thanks. Not interested. Croc man. Sure, we shall take this beautiful crate. Appreciate it. Crates have been so freaking stingy in this one. Should be able to do a good jump here. There you are. One of the crates had a bomb box. That's about it. Uh, whoop. Well, there's a complete maniac. Just... It's gonna happen. Don't worry about it. So, <laughs> Yo! At least now she has an angle. She stopped being a pro. Oh, there goes a ball. There's number two. There's the exit. Please give me... Give me an easy ball, please. Let's trigger that and then blow it up. Ooh, that was slightly closer than I should have. <laughs> all right, all right. Please give me this money. Please give me an easy ball under. Yeah, that was... That's perfection. Perfection right there. Uh, it should be... This should be trivial to avoid, right? And in fact, we can even spend a bomb to get a little bit of cash. And make my life a lot easier. Alright. Another level complete. Are we 40 yet? Yes, we are 40. <laughs> soon. Soon I'll be halfway. I'm so excited. Oh, it's a short level indeed. It's so satisfying. It's always so satisfying to grab the blood. No matter how much health you got. Okay. Of course we want to murder. That is number one. That's number two. There's the exit. Let's loop. Careful approach. Never. Just assume. That is going to be safe. And there's number three, which is like the other side. Might as well put a bomb right here. I was waiting. Oh, is this skull going to destroy it? It's actually not trivial. Because the bounce off the bubble is going to... It's going to cause problems. Hmm... So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do one of these, and then we're gonna go through here. And then we're going to go back up. That is triggered. We're good. I think that was 100% well spent. Really? I can't reach it, huh? That's weird. Holy crap, brother! <laughs> In a way, I provoked that. Actually, no, right? Because they do attack all mites. Without my intervention, they have a vendetta. They are full of hatred for one another. So that was totally not my fault. I just needed to get the hell out. Alright, let's go over to the top of the level and just hope for a good one. Yeah, we got an exit. And thankfully, the lava liberation was not a big deal. Number two. Could easily throw me into the lava, that ball of nightmares. Okay, there's the exit. I mean, I saw it earlier, but we have encountered it from a different angle. I'm still not being greedy in the Neo Babylon levels. It's just, you know, incidental money pickups. And there's our way. Let me do one of these. Okay. Give me that money. Not sure where it's coming from. It's like uh, doing whatever it wants. Oh, yeah. Another little Neo Babylon safely navigated. Get yourself on the cover. Give it a little bit of time. That is the strategy in ice caves. 
because so often it's going to be some kind of disaster happening off screen. Off screen. Want to be prepared for when that happens. Alrighty. We. That explosion took way too long. Let's wait it out. Sometimes it looks the alien will loop. That's number three. We don't want to mess with it. If we were super serious about money, we would be using these to get gems. And sure, I shall in that particular instance. But uh, I'm not that serious about it. Like I said, I have not seen a single run that goes 2 million whenever I look at the scores. So as long as I am being fairly diligent, just making pick up, doing pickups, we will be at the top if I make it. If I make it to 7.99. All right. If I ever do make it though, I'll be a little sad because the constellation I have right now, it really does look like a Mexican hat. At least like a, you know, a fedora. So very appropriate for Paco Espelanco, but I'll accept it. I accept whatever, whatever beautiful constellation you have in store for me, Derek. I will embrace it with every fiber of my being. Now, careful. You kind of trust this filthy wildlife. Yeah! Nothing to be seen this way. We require more orbs. Finally, we're getting some crate spawns. They have been so stingy with the actual spawns. The, the crates that we find. Also, actually, no, that's bullshit. We have found so many damn parachutes. It's ridiculous. I'm being shafted. Number two. Ooh, you could have been a disaster. Also you and also you. Finally, we get a damn instrument of salvation. Die. Please, I require more purple orbs. Eh? If I drop this, will I regret it? I don't think so. Hey, there it is. Let's be careful about it. Do not assume that you can just make it, <laughs> baby. <laughs> that was unnecessary. Fully unnecessary. I love a, a new boomerang. That would be great. I would appreciate it a great deal. 1.5 million. That cash keeps going up. I have it in a high yield savings account. Dividends are through the roof. Going to make off like made off. Ah. Idiot. You try to ambush me with your silly martial arts. Die. Rah. My beautiful tiny emerald. He got destroyed. Okay. Whenever I go into a little bit of silence, I'm like, man, you need to come up with some some commentary content. No! Resist the urge. Resist the constant need to fill up the silence with whatever the hell comes to your mind. Concentrate! The primary, primary purpose is to concentrate, achieve this goal, and make it. This is a pretty cursed, pretty cursed tide pool. There it goes again, the tide pool not coming to my mind again. Pretty damn annoying, the way that the worst just don't want to come. Okay, it's frustrating as my wife. She also refuses to come sometimes. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. There you go. Die, 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 die. Everything. Okay, I think that's number three. It, it cannot be number three. Which is good because I really don't want this one to be the third. In such a terrible spot. I'll be honest, I have zero memory of where the exit is at. Actually, that's not true. I think it's right, right below me. 
Let's try that again. Wow, that took a while. <laughs> that took a while, but it did come from right below. This is a bad idea. Where is it? I think it's in the bottom middle. Really should have noted where this shit was at. Mistakes were made. Hmm. I think it's like straight ahead. I have no idea. I really should have paid attention. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. We're just gonna uh, spend ten more seconds, and then we're gonna be watchful of the second one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna gather them into a nice little package with a bow on top, and now it's just a matter of being patient and slowly progressing toward an exit. We're gonna be systematically analyzing every square inch. We may be close, maybe not, but <laughs> I mean, there's enemies here. I could have sworn I saw the exit. I could have sworn I saw it. But it's okay, there's no time limit here. You're annoying. There's no time limit here. Yes, I do want this money. Careful, careful. Let's gather them again. All right. I really don't want to be chased. But I kind of have to. Where is it? God damn it, man. So annoying. The most infuriating part is the fact that I'm quite certain I saw it before. <laughs> Alright, okay. Let's put a bomb right there so I can make my way down safely. Not here. I have gone in a full circle. <laughs> oh, please. It's not there. <laughs> please. I need a way out. So my own dumbass fault for not paying attention. And for not being systematic, like I really should have been exploring top to bottom, side to side. I was already there. I do want that ruby, I want it. But I'm not going to go get it. This is atrocious and I hate everything about it. It's not here. It's not in this corner. I mean, it came from below. I was at the bottom and it came from below. Was I at the top and it came from the bottom? I think I was at the top and it came from the bottom. This is just atrocious, man. Am I safe? I'm not sure. Okay, well, you got it. You got it. I'm going to start at the corner. And we're going to go slowly through every bit of the level. I think I see it. It's right there. No, it's not. I could have sworn this was it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, okay. Put a bomb. Be patient. Now it's my time. Oh, <laughs> you thought it was it. You thought my number was up, but no. Well, that was a beautiful present from... <laughs> from... 
Derek to regale me to such sights. Yeah, I guess I'm putting a bomb here to make it to the bottom here because there's literally no way out. Uh, let's have that not happen again, all right? Let's not allow that to be another instance ever again. That was so torturous. <laughs> I hated every second of it. Please, it must not happen again. Trying to grab you so I can do more damage. Ha! Get destroyed. Okay, this is number three. We respect the spider. Respected the spider a little too much. Let's go. Lead for 745. Pretty decent, but you know it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be the end of the day winner. It was a great attempt. It was a beautiful attempt. I'm going to take a break for a couple days. Look at that. Already top score. Already top score. People don't give a crap about picking up money. We could have made it. We could have made it. This was it. But this spider. This spider. Destroy my hopes and dreams. Actually, let me hit that. Crossplay. Same deal. There's nobody with as much money as your boy, Uncle Blargo.